Do 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 do. Battery lessons with Tim. Meow. Okay. Hello YouTube. This is the beginner throwing video 2.0. It's been about 10 years since the first one. And some things have changed and some things haven't. Um, I did one video before with the clay prep and the um, stool situation, wheel setup thing. Got my ball of clay. The first, first time you get to the wheel, you're gonna dampen it a little bit. Now what we want is something that is dark, but not shiny. If your wheel head is shiny, it means it's too wet. That looks just right. We're gonna put in the middle. How much clay you use? We want something between orange and a grapefruit. About a pound and a half of clay, somewhere around there. Two pounds, maybe. But a pound and a half of clay is good practice amount. Um, first thing we're gonna do is get it wet. Um, I'm gonna do the demo kind of what I would do in my first day of class. So it's changed since the first video. So the first demo that I do is start to finish, quick and dirty demo. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm gonna do it so that they get their first chance to spin clay on the wheel and get used to how it spins. So I'm gonna do that just like I do in class. So it's on the wheel, I get it wet. I wanna make sure that it stays wet. Two rules, keep it wet, keep it spinning. Always keep it wet, always keep it spinning. I'm gonna push down on the edges. Those edges will stick and form a seal. And then I'm gonna do what's called centering. Centering is two steps. Coning up and coning down. Coning up, I'm gonna push against the wheel head, I'm gonna to squeeze together. As I squeeze together, the clay has no place to go but out of the top of my hands. That's gonna make a cone up. Cone up. Cone down, I'm gonna wet the clay, keep it spinning. I'm going to push down and forward. My left hand is gonna go down and forward. My right hand is gonna catch the clay and drive it to the middle. Again, this is the quick and dirty demo. We're gonna go into greater detail on the next one, but I wanted to get you guys a chance to throw before I confuse you with all the other stuff we're gonna talk about. So, center the clay, middle of my wrist, and my elbow are in a straight line. Left hand is at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna to squeeze together. Clay has no place to go but out of the top. I'm gonna to get it wet. Push down against the wheel head, push down and forward with my left. We're gonna do that until it's in the middle. How do you know it's in the middle? It'll no longer wiggle in your hand. Hand should stay nice and still when you're done. When you let go, you're gonna let go slowly. Now you have it in the middle. Opening it up, I'm gonna take two fingers and my thumb. I'm gonna wrap my left hand around. My right hand is gonna push with the side of my middle finger. Uh, push down and open it up. And I'm gonna flatten out the bottom, going from the middle towards three o'clock. And you will probably get to this point, and that is okay. I'm showing you so it's not a surprise later. I'm gonna to squeeze together. As I squeeze together, I'm gonna to move up. And this is called pulling a wall. Move up and towards the middle. And as I move up and towards the middle, I'm gonna slowly release the pressure and let go. Wet it. Inside and out, top to bottom. Push down against the wheel, I squeeze together. As I squeeze together, I move up and I move towards the middle again and pull a wall. Now your first ball of clay, your second ball of clay, and the rest of the stuff that you do today, I want you to pull it till you wreck it. We aren't trying to keep anything. The goal is to learn. The goal is not to make stuff yet. And the best way to learn is by doing it till you wreck it. Get an idea how far that clay can go, what failure feels like. <laughs> you need to get used to it now. So I'm gonna pull it till I wreck it. Okay, once you've wrecked it, I'm gonna take your wire tool and I want you to cut it in half. By cutting in half, I want you to go all the way through once and then go underneath and lift up. This will give you an idea of the wall thickness, where you've left stuff, where you've made dents and all that. I want you to do that to all the pieces and then set that aside and we will either recycle it or dispose of it correctly later. Now, if you've made a big mess, like drawing smiley faces and stuff in the middle, 
you're gonna to need to scrape this clean. You're gonna use your wooden rib, start in the middle, and kind of snow plow it off. If it's not slimy, leave it just like that. Don't wash it. It's already damp. And then grab your next ball of clay. And since you've already turned this ball of clay into a ball in a previous video there, you're just gonna pop it on, hit it twice. Now, this is the important part of the video here. This is the, this is the more in-depth why we do things. That first, that first demonstration is basically just to get people used to using the pedal, how things spin, letting them get used to how clay feels. Some people have never touched clay before and have signed up for pottery class. <clears throat> so we're gonna go into depth of what we're doing here. So I've got my hands wet. When I say to wet the clay, I do not mean sprinkling on it from above. I don't mean taking a handful. I don't use a sponge for this. I dip my hand. I might dip both hands. And I'm going to put them on the clay. That's going to form a layer of slip. And that's the lubrication that we're looking for. We're not looking for a deluge of water. What we want is this. This is the good stuff. Now, once we have it wet, I want to push down on the edges. To push down on the edge, I'm going to kind of put my hand at an angle. And I'm going to push on this part here. I'm going to move the camera a little bit above. So we're seeing it from above over here. So I'm going to push down on these sides and that's going to form a skirt around the outside. To verify we have a skirt, put your finger around here. Check it. Make sure it's sealed all the way around. Once that's sealed, we can cone up and cone down. This should not be trying to center the clay. This can stay wiggly. See how this is wiggly? That's okay. If you try to center it now and put lateral pressure on it, you're gonna end up pushing the ball off the clip, off the wheel head. All right, Let's zoom back out here. If I try to. I said. What we want is the center of the clay, the middle of my wrist, and my elbow to be in a straight line. So when I push from my elbow, I'm driving the clay from the end of my arm and not my hand. I don't want to include this part in the pushing because there's a lot of little muscles that move in your wrist and your arm. And I don't want all these other joints to be added up that I have to control. I want to reduce the, the many, as many joints as possible. So I'm going to push with the end of my arm from my elbow. My elbow is going to be on my leg. So I'm going to push my body against my arm so that I can push on the clay less so. I want this part and this part to be what is in contact with the clay. I'm not squeezing with my fingers. I don't want to leave little ridges. I want to push right here. That's the meaty part. I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna put it at a 90 degree angle to my right. I'm gonna overlap left over right. I'm gonna push down against the wheel head. You'll notice I stick my little thumbs up like antennas. What I want, what I want to do is that when I squeeze together, the clay has no place to go. We're, think of this like displacement. I'm just pushing and wherever the clay can go easiest is gonna go. If I leave the top open, it's gonna go out of the top. So I'm gonna push and squeeze together. Now this also isn't centering. Well, this is part of centering, but don't try to center the clay when you cone up. Let it be wiggly. It can be all wonky right now. Centering happens on the cone down. This coning up puts the clay in a position where you're incrementally pushing a little bit of clay into the middle at a time. You're not forcing and manhandling the whole chunk of clay. You're doing a little bit. That little bit that you push down per rotation is the only part that you're trying to drive into the middle each rotation. That's why we can center large amounts of clay without a lot of effort. So I'm gonna push my leg against the splash pan. I'm gonna lean my body weight against my leg. I'm gonna push my body against my arm and put my leg up enough that I can get my right, uh, my left arm on it. I'm gonna push down and forward. Now I'm gonna cone up a little bit more again so you can see. When I say down and forward, I mean I'm actually bending the clay Bending the clay so that it has to go down as I push forward. It has no place to go. It wants to go down. And my right hand is catching that clay and driving it into the middle. So we have it coned up. Push down and forward a little bit at a time. That slowly drives it to the middle. Now you'll notice I had to move some of my right fingers with a ball of clay this size. That's okay. And then we're going to do that. So. Centering is not just about putting the clay into the middle. 
It's also about homogenizing your clay in a, in a way that your inconsistencies, if you do have them, are spread out flat. Each time you put pressure on the clay, you're actually spinning it a little bit. And when you spin that clay, it takes the inconsistencies and starts to take them from what would be like this and flattens them out. The worst thing that you can have is an inconsistency in your clay that is once per revolution. So it's a thud, 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 like a bubble or something. That's going to make it harder to throw. Not impossible, but harder. So when you center, you're actually stretching out the clay and you're homogenizing it um, in a, hor you're horizontally homogenizing it. It totally makes sense to me. Just trust, just trust. Throw the cone up again. Letting it square to the top of my hands. So we're clay this small, only cone up once. You're not following the clay up. My right hand never leaves the wheel head. It stays right against the wheel head. I just push down and the clay squirts out of the top of my hand. If you're lifting it up, you're gonna put a spiral in it, which is gonna be harder to deal with. And then I'm gonna push down and forward. Okay, so now it's relatively centered. We want to end in a gumdrop sort of shape. If you need help remembering what you're doing, it goes candy corn to gumdrop, candy corn to gumdrop. And you sing this song, it's candy corn to gumdrop, candy corn to gumdrop, do, 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 do. Um, and we want to stop at gumdrop. If you go down too far, you'll get a junior mint. And junior mints make volcanoes, and volcanoes have lava, and lava's hot, and we don't want hot stuff because it burns. If we don't go down far enough, then you're not really centering the whole mass. You're kind of just centering the middle to the top. You're not getting that bottom stuff. So again, cone up and cone down, stopping at that third of an inch. The coning down too, you wanna to make sure that you're not pressing with your hands flat, that I'm overlapping my hands and I'm pushing with the meaty part of my thumb at the top middle. So down and forward, meaty part pushing down, side pushing forward, and that my hands are overlapped. Okay, so easy so far. So easy. Now we're going to open it up. I'm going to take, now there's lots of different ways of opening up. I found this way is the easiest way for beginner people to center clay. It just, it just ends up, ends up being that way. So I'm going to take the side of my middle finger on my right hand. I'm going to run my thumb parallel to that. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you Tim. Okay, right. so <laughs> we want to do the pointy gun, so we're going to pew pew pew, and we're going to put, this part is going to be against the clay, my thumb is going to run parallel to those fingers. I'm going to wrap my hand around the clay, and I'm going to push down and in. That's going to drop the hole. Alright, so easy. So I'm straight to the wheel, this part's going to push down. My thumb is parallel to those fingers, so that they don't bend this way. My thumb doesn't bend that way, so it kind of hooks everything together in one Strong tool there. I'm going to open it up so that I get a little bit of a hole. And then I'm going to add water to it. Keep those together. My thumb isn't really pushing. It's just there for the ride until I go a third of an inch from the bottom. At this stage, we don't need to measure it. It's not that big of a deal. Just don't go all the way down to the bottom if you can help it. And don't leave an inch at the bottom. You want like a third of an inch. Or if you're in cabinetry, 11, 30 seconds. And then I'm going to take those same two fingers turn them on their side. I'm going to support that hand with my right, or with my left. I'm going to move towards 3 o'clock. And squish it back down. Now, I'm not really compressing the clay. I'm just making sure it is smooth. I'm going to wet it inside and out, top to bottom, making sure all the surfaces are lubricated. And then I'm going to do the CSR cookie and the crampy finger. So CSR cookie, I'll take my hand, I'm going to put all my fingers together, I'm going to make a C shape. So easy. My right hand, I'm going to make a fist, stick my pointed finger out, and I'm going to cramp it up so it looks like that. And the clay is going to hit here. This part is going to be against the wheel head. So out, <laughs> see this cookie goes on the inside. My thumb is going to touch my hand. Crampy finger is going to be on the outside with this part against the wheel head, this part against the clay. And I'm going to start with it kind of at the angle. I'm going to lift my hand up to bring that wall up, because right now it's kind of out. That's going to bring it up. And then when I pull, I want to move up and towards the middle. All right? So squeeze, pull up and towards the middle. And as I get to the top, release the pressure and let go. So easy, right? I know, I know. 
So easy. I'm gonna make sure it's wet, inside and out, top to bottom. The reason we wanna make sure it's lubricated completely is if you have a dry spot and you're throwing, it's gonna catch. And that's that inconsistency, that horizontal inconsistency that we don't want. It needs to be wet, top to bottom, all the way around. And then we're gonna squeeze together and pull up again. And just like before, guess what? We're gonna pull it till we wreck it. There is no failing. A wreck is a win. Oh, so good to wreck it. Yay. And then cut it off. If your piece falls over like this, don't worry about it. Just don't get this middle part slimy. If you leave it just like that, it's great for the next ball of clay. I'm gonna do that whole demo again, but I'm gonna do it with this. All right, we're gonna do the demo again. I'm gonna do it quicker this time though. I'm not gonna go through all the explanation, but I'm gonna do it quick. I'll do it, I'll do the explanation, I'll just do it really fast. All right, so it's on the wheel. I've got it wet. I'm gonna squish it down. Center of the clay, middle of my wrist, and my elbow in the line. Push down, I let it squirt out of the top, wet it, push down and forward, cone up, down and forward, cone up, down and forward. If it starts to get sticky, re-wet it, cone up, down and forward. You can exaggerate this by opening your hands and coning up and down without overlapping so you can really watch the clay move. But for actually doing it, best if you put your hands there and overlap them. Opening it up. Center. Boop. Flatten out the bottom. Slide over, make it smooth. Wet it inside and out, top to bottom. See if your cookie, cramp your finger. Squeeze and move up towards the middle. Wet it. Squeeze in and move all that clay up and into the wall. And that's our goal. Cut it and repeat. Next week, we'll have another lesson. <laughs> but that's the stuff to practice this week. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't already hit the like button, slam that like button. If you're watching for the first time, or you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.